Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Wilton at art to life I wanted to talk about uh, working on multiples together. I mean, this is a large painting I'm working on, but I've broken it up into two parts. And I do this a lot. I'm doing this more and more now where even, you know, if I want to do like a 60 by 60, I might order, you know, a 20 by 60 and a 40 by 60 and put them together. So I've got the ability to break my painting into parts. So for example, this is actually two paintings that are gonna go together. And what's so cool about doing this is that, you know, it's a great way to learn to paint larger because it's not as intimidating because I can kind of treat this as its own painting and then I've got this other one over here. But what I love, love, love about doing this is that you end up kind of having two things to look at that you can put together and you can put them together in different ways. So for example, this is just an underpainting and I've put this, you know, when I'm painting on it, I just do it all together. But now, because once it's dry, I can start playing around by taking, you know, this part and I can put it like this, something that I would never have think of doing before. And I get to see this whole new thing happening. And I just think it's really cool to be able to do that. Like that's, that's pretty great how that kind of, you know, you get to, see, you get to have all these choices. You get to move things around, put something on the top, put something on the bottom. And now this one's not square, um, but you can, if you do squares, you can flip them around, you know, go upside down. I can change, I can change this so this part goes up and see how that looks. The more objectivity you can have, you know, it's, by doing that, I have like a completely different painting by flipping that up in two seconds. And it doesn't take any time and it gives me objectivity so I can stand back and look at this and see it in a new way. If I can be objective and see it fresh, I'm more apt to make better changes and, and evolve it and, and, and work on it in a way that improves it quicker because I'm more objective. I'm not just staring at the same thing trying to figure it out. So it's just something that you might want to think about breaking your work up into parts, smaller parts, you know, getting separate panels and putting those things together. It could be a canvas or whatever. Uh, it just provides some real uh, sudden, easy, exciting things you can do in the middle of working on your painting. Plus, you're, you're building up, you know, you're getting used to painting larger. You know, I could have a third one, a fourth one, this thing becomes really big. And sometimes, for me, often, the way I painted it, I almost always end up pulling it apart and putting it back together. It's so much more surprising. It's something you could never figure it out. It takes your hand out of it in a way. So it's just something to maybe uh, try on your next paintings. Okay, thanks.